the first time I've spoken today, so if I sound croaky, that is why. Um, but today is a beautiful, beautiful sunny day. I think the sun is coming back. And if it does, I'm very excited about it. Um, so, yeah. But I'm just um, in bed uh, replying to comments to my Instagram picture, um, which I always post at around 8am. So I'm just doing that, and then I'm gonna wake myself up. <laughs> and just like that, I'm looking like a new woman. I'm looking ready, I'm looking alive. Did not look alive earlier. I've also changed my grey t-shirt into a new grey t-shirt. Um, but I have some new prints that I wanted to share with you guys. You guys know I love my prints. I love like changing them up. I love just like giving my room a new spruce. And today I'm partnering with Desenio to show you guys some new prints that I picked out for my bedroom. I really wanted to give my room a bit more of like a summer feel, especially as you know we're in summer now and i really like the idea of having prints that suit the season so whether it's autumn winter summer i like the idea of having a print that just like gives that kind of vibe um so i chose out some really really summery prints that i want to show you guys and i've also got two to put up on here which i've been waiting for a moment to put some prints up here because i just couldn't find any but i found two that i absolutely love so I'm going to show you the ones that I've already got in place and then I'll show you those ones. First up we have this one. Um, before I had a very just simple print here but I changed it for this really lovely blue and pink print. I love this style um, with the kind of borders around it and the little like text oh, text here. I really really like that. I think it looks really cool. Um, and I really like the blue. I don't really have a lot of blue in my room but I just thought that it was quite nice and I do actually have some blue candles on there so they kind of tie in um, and I just think it's really cool so I picked that one out for there and then down here I have this one I was debating putting this one above my bed but I actually think it looks quite nice here and I love this like um, leaf kind of design I think it looks quite cool um, and I put this one in a white frame so it'll just blend into the wall a bit nicer um, I kind of like having this one here because it covers the plug socket so you can't see them um, it just looks a bit more seamless um, so yeah I chose that one for there and then the most exciting bit are these prints so I loved these when I saw them on the website I fell in love with this one first I just think the kind of little shapes are really really cool and then I found this one which literally matches obviously different but matches um, how cool do they look so I'm going to put these up with you um, these are gonna go there hopefully I can make them look even and nice um, so that's what we're gonna do right this second but I just think they're really cool and they're a really good summer kind of print to go for I also went for a wood frame for these um, just because I do have bits of wood in my room and I wanted to tie it in I didn't want it to be completely white on this wall especially because that print there is in a white frame I didn't want it to blend in too much so I'm gonna find a spot for you to sit and I am going to put them up with you Okay, they're up. They're not amazing. They're not completely straight. Let me show you. Here they are in all their glory. I'm having to stand right here because the windows are reflecting onto them. Um, but I put them up kind of higher so that I can still lay on my bed without my head touching the frames. Um, I really like them. I think they look really cool. And like, if I step back next to my shelf, I think it's exactly what my room needed. My room actually looks kind of put together now. I put them slightly further apart so that they would be just past the bed in a way. Like if I stand straight on, you can see that they just, 
they're just a tiny bit past the edge of the bed which just fills the wall a little bit more because the wall's quite big and it's quite bare so it needed something but how nice is that i absolutely love it i actually have a discount code which i will leave on the screen and all the terms and conditions will be below so you can go check them out um go get yourself some decenio prints because they are beautiful i absolutely love them i think they're really cool and they do have such a wide range of prints as well so there's so many to choose from depending on what style or what vibe you want um you don't have to go for ones like this you can go for something a little bit more simple um so yeah i'll leave everything linked below the discount code will also be below um so yeah go check them out just got myself ready because i'm about to head out um i need to go and get my sister a graduation present as she's graduating uni finally on the weekend so i'm heading in to central to go find her something um but i thought i'd show you my outfit because i actually really like it i might die because it's one of those weathers where it's like it says it's like 24 but there's no sun and there's a bit of sun but like i don't know how hot i'm gonna get i don't know how cold i'm gonna be do you know what i mean so this jumper may come off but anyway um hair is disheveled we'll move away from that earrings astrid and Mew. um pearl necklace is asos this necklace is the c necklace the necklace itself is from Suzanne, but the c i got from zara um and this one is from trium jewelry um and then my sweatshirt move my fan out the way um is from anine bing um i really love this sweatshirt i wore it yesterday to shoot and i was like i'm obsessed um it's got really cool graphic detail on the background background back <laughs> um i love it i can't wait to wear it more um and i got this one in a medium and i really like the size of it and then my bag is from by far which i've just helped put the chain over my shoulder for like a kind of casual vibe and then i'm wearing these jeans which are from new look i really like these jeans they're probably like my go-to jeans at the moment i probably could get away with wearing like actual shorts because it's quite warm but i'm gonna wear these <laughs> comfort and then i've got my um what are these called my night blazers on um yeah so it's a very casual kind of black and white simple outfit um so yeah i'm gonna head into town now i'll try my best to take you guys with me um i might film some bits on my phone rather than on my camera but yeah we're gonna head out oh my god look at my prints don't they look just so nice in the background i love them London and the heat is not the one saying that I didn't go out in the most summeriest outfit and it's quite warm today um, but it doesn't look warm so yeah anyway I just got home um, I had a really nice nice walk around town um, I didn't rush myself I had a little wander I had to drop um, some stuff off to Grace at her work um, which is near Oxford Street anyway so um, that was fine uh and then yeah i've just got home and i am knackered uh, but i thought i'd show you guys what i got i didn't buy loads of stuff but i bought a few bits so i thought i'd show you guys what i got since i'm home um before i start doing anything else i might order some ugh, i might order myself a joe and the juice because i kind of fancy a joe's club sandwich um and i haven't had any lunch yet and it's it's half past one so i think i might do that but first let me put you somewhere and i'll show you what i picked up okay i'm using grace's massive candle as a tripod um but where should i start I'll start with this bag. so i went into um a few places today actually went into selfridges to get my sister some earrings because she messaged me last night and was like oh have you got any earrings i can borrow 
for my graduation and I thought instantly I'll buy her a pair as a graduation present because I wanted to get her something anyway. So I went into Ashford & Mew in Selfridges um, and I got her these earrings. Yeah, so they're really cute little like um, twisted hoops. Um, so I got her those, but they didn't give them to me in a box. They just gave me them in an envelope, which I thought was really odd. So um, I had to then go out and about and I found a little bag in Scribbler to put them in. How cute. I will find try and find a little jewellery box. I probably have one somewhere. If not, I'll see if any of the girls have one. Um, and then I'll just pop it in that. How cute. So I got that for it to go in. And then I also got her a card. I found this one. It just says, The Graduate. Congratulations. What a star. Clever clocks. Well done. Genius. The sky's the limit. Um, which I thought was cute. So I got her a little graduation card. And then I also bought three birthday cards because I've got a few birthdays that I need to get cards for my friend Megan it was her birthday, it's actually her birthday today so I've got a few friends with um, birthdays which is why I picked up these um, so I got those from Scribbler and then and then I got some bits in and other stories I never go in and other stories but I went in there just because I was trying to kill the time and I just wanted to have a good look and I picked up the fragrance Sicilian Sunrise I've heard a few people talk about this and I thought, you know what, I really need a new fragrance because my ones are kind of running out. But I don't really want to spend £50 on a perfume at this current time. So I thought I would just get a little cheapy one. I say cheapy, this was £28. But um, I just wanted something a bit different. Even though I definitely will be buying the Dior Rose and Rose, Miss Dior Roses and Roses, whatever it's called. It's so good. Let me spray some of this one. Mm. Smells like summer. So I got that um, and I'm excited to wear it. And then I also got this like t-shirty top. It's like a oatmeal-y beige colour, but it's like a fine knit material. Um, I just thought it was quite cool. I thought it would be quite a nice tee to wear with jeans, wear into autumn. Um, I'm kind of not going back to my neutrals, but like trying to wear some more kind of cool classic outfits i just i'm a bit bored of all the bright colors i've been wearing um i just i don't know i get really bored quite easily when it comes to trend stuff and i quite like my neutral wardrobe but i don't want to go fully back to neutrals because i'm not ready for that but i just want to kind of um start to build up my neutral wardrobe again even though i do have quite a few neutral pieces but i just thought this was quite nice and i thought it'd be a good little tea to wear some jeans um, and this one I got in a size medium because I wanted it to be baggy and I wanted to potentially wear it with cycling shorts. Um, and this was £23, which I didn't think it was too bad, so I got that. And then the only other thing I got was from Urban Outfitters. And I basically, I've eyed this top up for ages and I haven't bought it. And then I was in there and I tried a few things on actually. If you follow me on Instagram, I posted some pictures of things that I tried on. Um, and I really like Urban Outfitters but some of the pieces just don't fit my body shape slash suit my body shape. I tried these really cool ragged priest jeans on, they were like a Czech print, I thought they were really really cool and they were like a neutral colour so I knew I could wear them like into autumn but they just didn't fit me very nicely so I didn't buy those. Um, but yeah anyway I bought this t-shirt which is so funny because the one thing that's on my list of things to buy that I really want is a Balenciaga t-shirt. And I was like, oh, you know, I'm not gonna buy loads of t-shirts, whatever. I'm gonna I'm gonna buy that one. I even saw it in uh, Selfridges today and I very nearly thought about buying it, but I was like, no, I'm gonna hold off for now. Um, it's very much the thing that I want to buy next because I just think it's such a cool t-shirt. Um, and I love a t-shirt. like. A t-shirt is probably one of my favourite items in my wardrobe. So I shouldn't really have bought these because I was going to buy, I am going to be buying that one. But anyway, I bought this. Um, I've been eyeing it up for a while. I don't really have a huge amount of black tees, so I wanted to get another one. Um, and this one's just a wash black with, I think it's blue. It's like a bluey satin. It says, Yetz Franz. And for anyone wondering what Yetz Franz means, it's the Urban Outfitters like brand, but... Um, it means something French in Dutch. So the word something French, but it's in Dutch. Do you get me? 
I, I'm that one of those weird people that had to find out what it meant because I needed to know, but um, I thought it was cool. So I got this, um, and I got this one in a small medium and it was £35. But yeah, that's everything I bought. That's all I bought in town. Um, I'm very hot and sweaty. I'm gonna order myself a Joe in the Juice right now because I need some food. Where do I order Joe in the Juice from? Delivery maybe? When I say I'm falling asleep waiting for my Joe in the Juice, I am falling asleep waiting for my Joe in the Juice. Uh, I always forget when you order lunch, I mean food, from delivery or any delivery place at like lunchtime. It's almost, almost, oh my god. It's always so much slower. I'm really tired. Can you tell? Um, I actually have work to do after this, but you know yolo we move um let's see how long it's gonna be okay it says it's coming between 2 and 2 15 and it's 1 56 so hopefully it won't be too long i'm so hungry um yeah anyway that's all i have to do on right now we got the goods wondering what I ordered I got a Joe's Club sandwich which I mentioned earlier and I got the power shake I only recently tried this and it tastes like a healthier version of the McDonald's map McDonald's strawberry milkshake I can't speak say I think I'm hungry oh I'm excited to devour this. If you've never had a Joe's Club sandwich, I highly recommend. Um, if you don't have a Joe and the Juice near you or where you live, if you ever come to London, get it. Yeah, look, this is what it looks like. Oh, oh, I'm so excited. Right, I'm gonna go eat this. I'll speak to you soon. Goodbye. Lunch has been consumed and I've been sat on the sofa for the last. I don't even know how long at this point, probably like an hour. Um, it's now 10 to 3. Um, so I'm going to go and check my emails because I haven't set my email. Um, stopping my shoes on the floor. I haven't set my email up on my phone yet. Um, I don't know if I posted the previous vlog. Well, hopefully I did. Um, but cut a long story short if you haven't seen that. Um, I woke up the other morning with my phone like completely frozen um, on the Apple logo so I had to go to the Apple store and they wiped my phone so I don't have all of the apps sorted on there yet um, and I have a feeling I'm going to have a lot of emails I'm just going to whack my laptop open and see um, I just have this feeling I'm going to have like emails that I need to urgently reply to um, oh I actually don't. That's good. <laughs> um, yeah, also, I'm freaking loving them prints up there. I think they look really cool. Yeah, so I'm now going to try and do a bit of work because I haven't done any today. Um, but saying that, I think I also need to pack for the weekend because I'm going home tomorrow. But I might do a bit of work tomorrow morning, so I'd rather just get packed and ready. So I might do that, pop a film on and just, like, chill out um, because, yeah basically that's what i'm thinking of doing um because i am going away for the weekend um but yeah um i feel really out of it because i'm really tired always get like this when i go out of the house and like walk around a lot um because where i spend a lot of time at home <laughs> when i actually go out and about i'm like mm. um i'm not shooting this week which is really sad i really enjoy shooting but sometimes like life just gets in the way and just you can't go shooting so um yeah anyway i'm gonna put the camera down because i'm just chatting absolute crap at this point um and try and figure out what i'm gonna do with the rest of my day wake myself up <laughs> just trying on my outfit 
that I am aiming to wear for my sister's graduation just so I can attempt to start packing because I need to start with this um, as this is what I'm going to be wearing um, and I've decided I'm going to wear this dress I've had this dress for ages, it's from Zara if I can find it I'll link it below um, I've had it for a while but never had the kind of situation or occasion to wear it saying that you could wear this dress to pretty much anything um, but I just think it's quite an occasionally dress so I'm going to wear this but I'm just deciding what bag I should wear with it um, these are the shoes that I'm going to wear they're like the lowest heels that I have these are from ASOS I'll link them below um, I do have some nudie coloured heels but like I feel like white goes best with this dress um, and then I can either take this bag which is from Zara I just recently got it I love the chain detail or I go for like a pink on pink Prada situation or let me get my Jacquemus. Or I do pink Jacquemus bag, like crossbody. And then my other option is my Chloe, but I don't think I want to take my Chloe. So at the moment it's between Jacquemus and um, the little bag. But I think this is what I'm going to go with, especially as the base outfit. Um, I just need to try my blazer. Okay, I was going to throw on this blazer as like a jacket to wear with it um, if it's cold. I don't actually really like the way this looks. This is really not a vibe for me. I'm not a blazer. Maybe I try a different, hang on, let me try something else on. I have this blazer, which I think looks really cool with this dress. Very bright, colorful, but is that too much? <laughs> is that too much when I'm not the one graduating, I'm just a guest? Maybe. Um, I might take it with me anyway and just potentially wear it. I think it's such a cool blazer, um, but is it too much? Also, it might be too hot to even wear a blazer, but I just want to have a jacket in case. Um, I don't really own very many like nice, pretty jackets, but if I if I wear this, I think my Jacquemus bag goes the best. So I'll probably wear that. I'll take my Jacquemus and then probably take my um prada as well maybe i don't know it's such a hard decision but i really like the way this looks together so i think i'll probably take this blazer as like a option honestly this is so difficult because i don't really know what what to wear are people going to be dressed casual i don't know what people wear at graduations i mean saying that i have had i have been to a graduation i went to my own graduation it was a long time ago and i don't know what people wear these days <laughs> So, yeah, I think we're going with this. It's supposed to be hot. That's the outfit sorted.